For that side of the story, we have our own Steve Overmeyer and Kevin McCone, starting with Stevie O, live at Legends Football Factory in Midtown, where the fans showed up to cheer on their team. Steve? Oh, yeah, Otis. I'm telling you right now, I think that everybody here is just trying to catch their collective breath over that last second goal. Let me tell you, the PSG fans here, the fan club, showed up absolutely in mass, and they were singing and cheering loudly the entire time. I think there was more singing here than at a Pearl Jam concert. The PSG fans were wild and crazy for the entire match. There have been for a team like this that has a potential of winning the Champions League. And this year, they believe they have the team. They certainly have the most entertaining offense in the entire Champions League. They had more than 20 shots and a handful of goal opportunities. And that last second goal that just brought the house down. In fact, that last second goal was what these guys have been waiting for their entire lives. And what can you say about the environment here for this entire game? Well, this is what it's all about here. I mean, you know, we share our passion. We have a group here that's been supporting PSG for a very long time. We also welcome anybody in New York that's PSG fan and want to share our passion. We share the songs, we share the passion, we share... All this is so exciting for us. It's like unbelievable. Champions League, that's up next. You guys got it now. Thank you. Well, we'll see. We have another game to play, though. Good luck. <laughs> I tell you. All right, so this was just the first of a two-leg aggregate match. Uh, now they're going to be traveling to Real Madrid.